Two and two, there goes a the runner. Swung and struck out the throw. He is out a double play. And so Lean struck out, and Barry Hill threw Gary Rebus out. A double play on the strikeout. High fastball and perfect throw by Damon Barry Hill. They cut down Rebus for the second time this year. Do you remember in St. Louis, you're, you're plugging the great movie you made, The Winning Team, in which you played the role of Grover Cleveland Alexander, and you stopped into the booth there and you did two innings on that afternoon. Yes. And you Pirates who are sure to finish second this year. We've already made out a score sheet for you. You're up to date with two outs in the first inning. All right. 
Don't worry about it. With when you start next inning, when the Cubs come to bat, everything will be ready for you. The pitch, a bouncing ball. Sandberg has it over the first. And no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. We go in the bottom of the first. No score. All right. You Harry Carey and Steve Sohn back at Rigby Field, and it's a, with a great deal of pleasure that I introduce to you the President of the United States taking over the role of a play-by-play -play announcer, Ronald Reagan, at the <laughs> mic. Well, Harry, thank you very much. You know, in a few months, I'm going to be out of work, and uh, I thought I might as well audition. <laughs> Well, I'm afraid that you got this job anytime you want it, <laughs> Mr. President. Right. Webster will lead right. off. Webster and batting left-handed, of course. Up at the plate. Rick Sutcliffe out on the mound. He's getting a sign from Zimmer, the man. Oh, yes, yes. Popeye, we call him. Just met him down there in the dugout a little while ago. Great fellow. Comes the pitch. I, tell you, I think that was outside to him. Mr. Why? President, here's a young man, good looking enough to be a movie star and maybe someday president, Ryan Sandberg. Well. <laughs> and he fouls one over to the left, around third base. Oh, yes, I met him down there, too. Jim Leland, the pirate manager. What did he say to you? Well, he was very, very nice. He said he wanted to meet me. And, and there goes a high ball out to left field, left and center field, both going over after it, and center field gets it. The one hand. So I completed and had him foul it. And then I thought I'd take a chance, and because I knew at no time there were a dozen stations broadcasting the same game, and I didn't want to lose the audience, so I had him foul again. And then I had him foul, just miss a home run by a foot. <laughs> and then... I had two kids get in a fight over the ball that went over back of first base. And um, finally, I'm really beginning to sweat. And then my fellow on the other side of the glass started typing. So I figured it was all right. I got another ball on the way to the plate. And the note he handed me said, jerk. And up at bat, Len Wilson, and he's right-handed. Comes the pitch, and it's a foul. Back into the stands and a little scramble for the ball back there. Yes. We're looking at beautiful Rigby Field, Mr. President, and this is the first of the Fan Appreciation Weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the three final games of the season. This ballpark is unusual in its beauty, but that was Mr. Wrigley's belief that baseball should be an outhand door, you know, sort of a picnic atmosphere. Well, he was way ahead of so many of the other owners by allowing radio broadcasts and television broadcasts for free right off the bat. Yeah. All right. Set to live in the mound again. <laughs> I think you make a great producer, director, Arnie. <laughs> And that's a ground ball taken by second over to short for out. And I believe it's double play. Double play. Four six three. Two out. Well turned over by Ryan Sandberg and Angel Salazar. Salazar in the lineup again. Sean Dunstan still nursing a little bruise. Good pivot by Salazar around the bag. And you can see DeStefano can't get a piece of him on the pivot. Prince is out of our, our neck of the woods. He's from Kankakee, Illinois. Two out, a runner at third. A hot day in the beautiful Rigby Field this afternoon. Yeah. 
Here comes the pitch. And it's a strike, swinging. <laughs> Arnie says it's the first time we've had two guys in the booth with a tie the entire season. <laughs> he thinks you're adding a little class to the broadcast. He should oh, have seen the way that. I dressed when I was broadcasting. <laughs> and that's strike two. Two and two. You're going to thank you very much. Well, I know I have to move along now. The job I presently have is calling me, <laughs> but not good, for long. Good to see you. Well, good to good. see you, and thank you for letting me sit in here and do this. Thank you for coming in. It's been a pleasure. It really has. Tell them, I got a lot of money in that mercantile. Tell them to make me some dough down there, will you? <laughs> all right. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, thank you all. We go into the bottom of the uh, second.